34-year-old Ezekiel Hopkins facing charges, including two counts of first-degree murder. John and Jay Savy. Police say the father and son were killed last week, confronting a car burglar at their home in this Windermere-gated community. Your parents live in an oceanside paradise? He's crazy rich, who cares? You must be the famous Brandy. To my little brother, who obviously has exceptional taste. Have you seen this? Oh my god. I'm Reed. I work here. Is Reed Leonard's business partner? He's Leonard's chauffeur and jack of all trades. <laughs> jack of all trades? <laughs> Make a move. I will kill you. I was so scared. What did the police say? We didn't call the police. We didn't find anyone. Reed and I did a sweep. I found this woman's ID burned in the fire pit. You aren't the first person to want to escape. You moved it. It has all the names of the girls. I want her in so deep, her own mother won't be able to find her. You're all crazy. And rich. Oh, it's a deadly combination. Yeah! Jonathan and Reginald Carr. The Carr brothers were sentenced to death for the four killings, including robbery and rape. Kenneth Chisholm was arrested last night in Walterboro. He's charged with the murders of 46-year-old Philip Miller, 52-year-old Lori Miller, and 13-year-old Vincent Miller. Curtis Clinton pleads not guilty for the murders of Heather Jackson and her two children, Selena and Wayne. He is given three death sentences. Anthony Kirkland killed 13-year-old Esme Kenny while she was on a run by herself. He left her burned body in a wooded area. Kirkland murdered Mary Jo Newton. He pled guilty. Turner Williams admitting to his involvement in kidnapping Tiffany Jones. Her body was found in a burned, vacant Baltimore home.